it's your girl Ana Cole, and I'm back at it again with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the 2017 Grammys that just happened last night. Okay, I'm tripping on my days just last night, but I did write notes so that way your girl won't be rambling, okay, and I won't get off the topic, okay? So let's jump right into this video. First off, I want to say the opening performance by Adele was bomb. You know, I loved it. Like, I, I love Adele. Like, her voice is just so strong. And it's, she's such a powerhouse when she sings. Like, she sang from her diaphragm, okay? She sang it from the diaphragm, okay? So, I was like, shout out to Adele. Oh, and Adele, I just want to say that dress, darling, that you had on when you opened up the show with the multi-color, with the beading and everything was beautiful. And then it, it, it flowed out a little bit, but it still hugged the curves. I love that dress. Shout out to them. Baby, is it me or was Miss J-Lo when she came out on that stage? Was she sitting or not? I mean, she was sitting, honey. She came out on that stage, honey. She twisted that little train back and she gave us thigh, honey. She poked that little thigh. I said, girl, you better let you better show off that thigh knee, girl. Show it off, okay? And then she had a little V, not too plunging, but it was plunging just enough. You know what I'm saying? J-Lo, you gave me my little life, that little, the little bit that she was up there giving out the word. You gave me my little life, J-Lo. Shout out to J-Lo. Chance the Rapper. Okay, I liked you, but I really, really liked you. I messaged with you because I feel like, I think he was the only artist. I think Was he? I think he was the only artist, I can't remember, that actually gave all glory to God. Like, Chance. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Me and my friend, we have this conversation all the time on how these celebrities out here, they forget who got them to where they were. You know where they are right now, you know? It's like 20 years ago, 10 years ago, you was riding around on E, eating ramen noodles, not knowing what, what was going to happen next, where you was going to get some money from, and the man upstairs blessed you. So when y'all get all these awards and these accolades, y'all can't give praise? Y'all can't give thanks? Anywho, that's a whole nother video. But Chant, you the man. You the man. Okay? Shout out to Chance the Rapper. And um, The weekend, his performance was okay. Um, It wasn't like, woo! You know, it was okay. Like he did my song, his song that's um, out. Um, I didn't really understand what the, like, the ice glaciers, what they was for the performance, but I mean, hey, to each his own, but shout out to the weekend. I want to say, Carrie, um, Carrie Underwood and Keith Urban, y'all performance was really cute. Like, I love, like, Carrie was all dancing and stuff. She had a little short dress on. I said, yes, girl, okay, you can get your little dance on. And Keith Urban, you can play that guitar, okay? Shout out to both of them. Um, was it me? <laughs> Or did y'all see Nick Jonas over there looking like zaddy material? <laughs> zaddy material. I was like, okay, Nick, we see you, okay? Looking all cute and stuff. Shout out to Nick Jonas. Y'all, I don't know about y'all, but I like me some Ed Sheeran, okay? I feel like Ed Sheeran is like one of my best guy friends. I feel like we go out and we talk and we have drinks and, you know, we turn up and we make songs up, okay? While he's playing the guitar. Ed Sheeran, shout out to you. That new song, though, I'm in love with your body. I feel like that is like the Thick Girls Anthem for 2017. Y'all better go listen to uh, Ed Sheeran. Okay, don't sleep on him. Y'all better listen to Ed Sheeran. Shout out to Ed. Uh, let me see. Oh, Mama Tina knows. Yes, honey. I love me some Mama Tina. Okay? The way she had that red lipstick on, honey. Her hair was just curled. Just curled right. She was dripping in diamonds, darling. And she was sitting and she just gushed about her beautiful daughters and Beyonce. Like, I just loved it. And that black dress was cute. Women, everybody, everybody, all women, you need to at least have one to two or maybe three little black dresses in your wardrobe. That is a must. You have to have that. Mama Tina, shout out to you. Girl, black don't crack looking all cute and stuff. Girl. Mama Tina. Moving on to Queen B. 
aka Beyonce. I don't care what any of you little haters say about Beyonce. Her performance was amazing. I don't care what none of y'all got to say. I'll be talking about Beyonce, but it doesn't matter because she is in her own category, okay? You cannot compare Beyonce to anybody else. Nobody out entertainment-wise is doing it like Beyonce. Beyonce puts on a show from beginning to end, okay? While looking flawless. And she pregnant with twins. Well, Queen B did that, okay? She was glowing. Her highlight was popping. Her hair was just flowing with that with the wind fan, darling. She was dripped in gold. Like, I loved everything about it. The imagery and everything was on point. I really feel like Beyonce is magical. I don't know, but Beyonce and Queen B did her thing. Bruno Mars, that is my dog. I love Bruno Mars. We listen to his album all the time in my car. I mean, like, all the time. Like, it's that good. And he did one of my songs, you know. <laughs> you better sing, Bruno. I love that they had on their 90s little leather gear, okay, with their Nike Cortezes. I was like, okay, y'all taking us on a ride, on a journey. Okay, I see it all. Oh, shout out to Bruno Mars. Next time you come to town, I'm there at the concert. I'm there. I love you, Bruno. Um, I've never really been a fan of Katy Perry like that, you know? Like, she's cute and everything, but I've never, like, really been, a, like, a fan of her music. But last night, I will say, like, her performance was cute. And I actually liked the song that she did with one of the Marleys. Like, it was really, it was cute. So, I was like, I'm going to have to, you know, run that back and look at that and listen to it again, you know, to see where I can find out. It's probably on iTunes somewhere, but... I'm gonna check that out. Shout out to Katy Perry. Oh, and Katy, I love that damn um, two piece. The, the pants set, that was so cute. Only if we had to just wore that on the red carpet with a cute heel. Oh my gosh, girl. Yes. Oh, shout out to Katy. I wanna say, um, Adele, you did amazing with your George Michael performance. Like, you did the damn thing. And I love Adele because she's so real. Like, she keeps it 100. Do you hear me? She keeps it 100. How she just stopped on live TV. She said, stop. Uh-uh. She said, roll it back. Roll it back. I got to do better for George. And I was like, Adele, you the real MVP. Do that. Do that, Adele. I love me some Adele. Um, oh, yes. Laverne Cox. Honey. When you walked on that stage and you sashayed, you gave us a little swivel and you gave us leather and chains. <laughs> Sitting. I loved it. I, I got my little life. Okay. Okay, y'all. Was it me or did, uh, or was, um, when Lady Gaga, when she performed with Metallica? Okay. Was Homeboy's mic not on? Was it not hooked up? Like, what happened? Technical, technical difficulties? Was he cussing? They were trying to bleep him out. Like, what was going on? Because his mic was not was not the business. And then it was so funny when he was trying to share the mic with Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga was like, you better get on the side because they're they going to hear me. I'm Gaga. they going to hear me. Okay? But some somebody probably got cussed out after that because, uh-uh. You can't be doing that. He's singing his part and stuff and his mic not working. <laughs> Anywho, child. Um... Oh, I want to say shout out to everybody that did the Bee Gees um, tribute. It was so bomb. Demi Lovato, girl. I love that piece that you got on that dress. It was all golden and just sparkly. I loved it. And, you know, we all know Demi Lovato could sing her little face off. So she was singing. I said, yes, Demi. I love me so I just say it all. Ooh, I was like, yes, girl. Bring it here. Bring it here. But shout out to everybody that did the BGs tribute. That was bomb.com. I had a good time. I was uh, dancing in my songs. You know what I'm saying? But, um, uh, you guys, I love me some Solange. I love me some Solange. How they had her, you know, out there and stuff. I was like, Solange, I was like, you're not going to perform? Can we get a little Solange performance? Okay, some little cranes in the sky. Don't touch my hair. Something? No, no. Okay. Well, I just listened to my CD. I want to say this though. Try Pop Quest. Oh yes, Try Pop Quest. Yes, yes, yes. I loved it. Then they brought Bus a Bus on the stage. I was 
like, yes. I was like, this is what I'm talking about. I love me some Anderson Pop too. I like that. I like the whole, I like the whole, 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 whole performance. Okay. The whole performance. Okay. Thank you. The Trent's tribute, I want to say, was so litty. So litty. Like Bruno Mars. Like, man. Man. Like, you don't, you never let me down, Bruno. You never let me down. Like, he was in there. He was feeling it. He was like, I'm about to rock it out for Prince. Like, for real, for real. And then they have Morris Day in a time. Come on, man, it don't get no better than that, okay? And then uh, uh, Bruno was hitting them, the, the, the licks on the guitar, like, man, Prince will be proud. But I will say, nobody has channeled Prince like Blau, okay? When Blau, when he sung, when they did the Prince tribute on BET, Blau, he channeled Prince. I don't care what nobody say. But the Prince tribute was bomb. And of course, Chance the Rapper, Kirk Franklin, and Tamala Man, and at the choir, you know I like going to church. I was like, yeah, come on now. I was like, a lot of these people in the audience, they probably don't, they don't understand it, they don't get it. But I, I, he put a smile on my face, and I was like, yes, Chance, come on. And Kirk and him was dancing and stuff. I was like, y'all gotta stop. And Tamma looking cute with her dress on. She's slimming down and stuff. Like, I just, I just love, I just loved it. I love when, you know, they, when gospel singers get to perform and stuff. And just, like, I just love it. Okay? I just love it. Because, you know what I'm saying? I love Jesus. Okay? But as always, y'all, that's, that, that's about it. You know, that really stuck out to me. The rest, you know, I was like, okay, whatever, you know. It is what it is, <laughs> you know. But as always, guys, tell a friend, tell your auntie, tell your grandma, okay? Tell your mama, your daddy, your sister, your cousin. Tell the neighbors down the street, the mailman, the milkman, whoever, to follow your girl and hit the subscribe button. And follow me on all social media. All of the links will be in the description box below. And hit, hit, hit me in the comments and let me you know what y'all thought and what were y'all favorite, you know, moments of the Grammys. But until next time, I'll see y'all soon. Peace.